Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick overview of the EHPS Micro Electric Power Steering Pump Controller. Uh, in this video, we're just going to quickly talk about uh, what you'll receive, the wiring, basic wiring, and the basic operation of the controller. And we'll hook it up to a Volvo Power Steering Pump in this example and a battery to show you that basic operation. So first, what you're going to receive is the controller itself and about a foot of wire on either side of the controller. Over here on the left-hand side, we just have a power and ground. Uh, ground can just go to the chassis or the battery negative. And the positive needs to go to a switched or ignition 12 volts. So whenever you want the pump to turn on, this should go to 12 volts. On the other side of the controller, we have three main wires that are coming off of it. We have red, which is just the 12 volt ignition signal. Most electric power steering pumps on the uh, data connector will have three or more wires, but typically they will have an ignition hot. So basically the same signal coming into the controller. And then they'll have a can high and a can low. In this case, can high is yellow and can low is going to be blue. There's a last wire here on the controller, which is purple. And it's uh, in default state, it's just looped. And that's gonna be a CAN bus termination jumper. So if you just have these three wires hooked directly to the electric power steering pump, then you can just leave this wire as is. But if you have other things on this bus uh, and you do not want this controller to be a terminating module, you can cut this jumper and tape it back and it will no longer have a termination resistor across the CAN bus. So next we're gonna hook it up to a Volvo electric power steering pump and show you the basic operation. So now we're gonna go over the operation of the controller. Over here we have a car battery with the power hooked up to the main power on the power steering pump. In this case, this is a Volvo C70 power steering pump. This main wire does not need to be switched, but it should go through a resettable breaker or a fuse. They can sometimes pull up to about 100 amps at full load, so make sure you use wire that is rated to that. The ground is hooked up to the main ground on the Volvo power steering pump as well, in addition to the ground on the power steering pump controller. The output of the controller, once again, the ignition signal can high and can low are going into the data connector on the power steering pump. And what I'm gonna do to simulate an ignition switch or a toggle switch is hooking up the positive to the positive post of the battery. And as we do this, I'm gonna hold on to the pump because it will take off rather violently. So once the pump is running, you will see the light blink fast on the controller. Now that is indicating that the controller is sending messages and it is also receiving messages from the pump. Now if you want to change the speed that the pump is running at, you can use a flat blade or a Phillips, small Phillips screwdriver and using the adjustment uh, potentiometer here on the board, there's a small slit in the covering that you can use your screwdriver to turn the screw to the left to lower the speed of the pump or turn the screw to the right to raise the speed of the pump. And as soon as ignition is removed from the pump, the pump will shut off. Okay, let's talk about some common problems and troubleshooting uh, regarding those problems. Uh, so the first thing, if the pump does not start as soon as you get the wiring hooked up, you'll once again wanna make sure your ignition and CAN bus wiring is correct for the pump that you're using. Uh, the second thing you can uh, check is also the battery voltage. Uh, these pumps do pull a lot of current and you do need a good battery and preferably the car running with you know the alternator charging uh, to get good operation out of these pumps. The next thing you can use to diagnose any problems is the indicator LED here on the pump. Uh, we saw when we hooked it up just a second ago, uh, when everything is operating correctly, that light will flash uh, quickly. 
Now, let's say, for example, the wiring is uh, incorrect or the pump is disconnected or not receiving power. When we hook up the 12 volts to it, we'll see that light flash slowly. And that means that the controller is working and is initialized and it is sending messages, but it is not receiving any messages from the pump. Now, the other thing you might see with the indicator light is a constant green. And what that typically indicates is you have a shorted CAN bus or your termination jumper is not set correctly. And that means the controller is not able to initialize CAN bus and there is likely a wiring issue with the CAN bus side of the controller. If you have any questions regarding the pump controller, feel free to either leave them down in the description or contact us. The contact information will be in the description of this video.